Hi, hello and welcome to EC Deploys YouTube channel. In this demo, we are going to see how to create swap space in a Linux machine. Okay, so first I'll uh, explain to you what is meant by a swap. Okay, so a uh, swap space is a space that is created on a hard disk and it is used when the amount of physical memory, that is the RAM is fully utilized. So if the system needs more memory resources and the RAM is full, then the inactive pages in the memory are moved to the swap space. Okay. The space which we have uh, created from the hard disk, uh, it is used as a virtual memory. And the interchange of data between the virtual memory and the real memory is called as swapping. The swap file plays two important roles. Okay, so uh, the first role is if uh, some applications consume huge amount of RAM and uh, which deprive other background applications that also need memory. So in this case, uh, the swap space resolves the situation by paging out the ideal files to provide extra memory. Okay, and then the second important aspect is when a program, uh, a particular application consumes extra memory or when extra space is needed for device operation, then the swap file provides some breathing space <clears throat> until the user can come up with a more permanent solution such as RAM upgrade. Okay, so also uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, this swap space should not be considered as a replacement for more RAM. Okay, so uh, now uh, we will see how to enable swap space in a Linux EC2 uh, Linux instance. Okay, so I have uh, already provisioned the uh, Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance and I have SSH into the instance and I have switched it as a root user. So uh, first what we need to check is First, we need to check whether the swap is enabled in the system or not. Okay, so that can be uh, found by executing via two commands. The first command is swap on. So I am just uh, uh, executing this command. So this command uh, doesn't give me any output, which means that the swap is not enabled. And then there is another command like free iPhone M command. I'm executing uh, the command. Okay, so uh, this uh, EC2 instance is of a configuration 1 GB of RAM and 30 GB of hard disk. Okay, so if you can see uh, here, uh, uh, memory it is uh, uh, it is of 1 GB, and then if you can see the swap, it is zero, which means there is no swap that is enabled on the system okay so now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, use the dd command and going to create 4 gb of swap space on the root file system okay so uh, i have a command here so i'm just copying the command and pasting it here so if you can see i am using the dd command if you can see there is uh, uh, you need to uh, you can see two uh, fields one is the bs bs is nothing but a block size and then uh, there is another field called count so uh, which is the number of blocks okay so here i am going to create 4 gb of uh, uh, swap space with a block size of 1 mb and then with uh, blocks of 4096 okay i'm executing this command so in the meantime i'll explain you another scenario for creating the uh, swap file so similarly uh, if i can keep uh, 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 the block size as 128 mb and then for a, a 4 GB of uh, swap space, I'll be having 32 blocks. So uh, it will be having uh, blocks of 128 uh, blocks.
plot size with 32 blocks. Okay, so I just have to need to replace uh, this 1 MB, 1 M instead of 128 and then the count as 32. Okay, so now uh, we have created the uh, swap memory. So now what I am going to do is I am going to update the uh, read and write permissions of the swap file so that only the root user is allowed to read and write the swap file. Okay, that can be done using the chmod command. So now I have created uh, change the permissions of the swap file. Uh, now what I am going to do is I am going to set up a Linux swap area using the mk swap file. Okay. So this is a command and I am wrapping it out and then what I am going to do is now I am going to enable the swap file for immediate usage using the swap on command okay so uh, on executing the swap on file we can uh, uh, see that it can be of immediate use if i can execute the free hyphen m command you can see uh, the swap memory which was zero here it is updated to 4 GB of size. Okay, so uh, this is on a temporary basis. So I am going to uh, what I am going to do is I am going to uh, permanently enable the swap space. So this can be done by adding an entry in the etc fstep file. So I am just going to edit the etc fstep file. And then at the end of the file, I am just going to add an entry. So this is the entry which I am going to add it in. I am saving the file and then exiting the file. Okay. So this is how we can create a swap space in a Linux system. Okay. So uh, if you like this video, click on the like button and share it with your friends and also subscribe this channel to get notified more videos like this. Thank you. Easy deploy. Deploying cloud simplified.